Air Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial for Photoshop CC 2015.2, I'm just going to quickly show you how you can change the background for the artboard. And the key thing is to actually select an artboard, so I'm just going to go there, Artboard Tool, and just going to create an artboard. Very basic artboard, there's an artboard, and once you've actually got that, you can now just go to click up there and actually click anywhere. Just click on the name, but you don't have to. You can actually say default, that black, dark gray, medium gray, light gray, and custom, which is allows you to set a custom color. And I'm just going to quickly set a custom color. You can just be nice, bright red background, maybe not a great idea. So it's actually quite garish. So I'm just going to go back to the default. You can also just go over to Preferences, and I'm just going to go Photoshop CC, Preferences, and Interface. Now you'll notice in the Interface section, there is a little word there, Artboard Settings only apply to GPU. So if you haven't got a GPU, then you just won't be able to use this. So what you can do, do exactly the same thing, black, and you can see it changing. Now if you haven't got an Artboard there, it won't change. So you do have to have actually Artboard, so if you just create a new document, it just won't change at all. Now, light grey, and again, you've got the option for select a custom colour. Again, change it to that, and then you've got that. Now, these you also notice, and I'm just going to go one that you can actually probably see it, there's an option here for a line and none. Click OK, and you see there's a line there. If you go to Preference, there, preferences and interface and I'm going to set it to none. Very very subtle to be honest you can hardly see it in fact so just go off there you can't see it you can't see it there's no line there now basically. Now obviously it'd be a nice feature if there's a few more options maybe a double line maybe a thicker line maybe you, know, you could set it to 10 20 30 pixels whatever I mean it would be a nice sort of feature maybe sort of like for creating uh, sort of comic book panels so you could create different type but I'm certain that sort of feature is who knows so at the moment it's just a thin line and no line at all so that's it just a quick way of creating different colors for your artboard background hope you found this interesting thank you much